Actually, we have uh, two special messages. It's in their own way, artistic way of giving their um, message right now for Christmas and also reminding us of the Philippines. So let's watch this. This is my cousin Sienna with the help of her dad. She is making a traditional native parol made from sugar cane flowers. Basta ilonga guapa. Parol is a symbol of victory of light over darkness, a hope and goodwill to mankind. Ang masiti ni buong ilaw, walang iba, punti ikaw. Salamat sa liwanag mo, muna'y makakakulay ang Pasko. This year has been overly challenging for all of us from COVID-19 pandemic to all of the calamities that hit the global countries. These, these challenges remind me of the song, Give Love on Christmas Day on this highly unusual holiday May we remind others that there is someone who cares. My, my name is Haley and I am giving love from Canada to the rest of the world. Bayon na Pasqua sa inyo tanan. My heart goes out to the people who were affected by the Bamco Typhoon. Please help and share your support. So now, I dedicate this painting to everyone in the Philippines. Whoosh! and kids to yours. God bless the Philippines. For, for that beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. As always, she makes really great paintings. Haley, she's so so good with vlogs. Her family asked if she can speak in Ilongo, and I said, oh my gosh, yes, I love it. When kids get, can actually speak their dialect, mm -hmm. whatever language or uh, mother tongue that your parents speak, learn it. It's mm -hmm. really important that Very you know, important. don't let it die. Yeah, and you keep you definitely keep it alive, like you said. <laughs> yes, and so it's a great uh, segue to mm -hmm. our next guest. Let's give our ears a treat with this beautiful song. Maligayang Pasko Epic Gen Kids. When you hear my song, Pangarap Ko Ngayong Pasko, ask your parents what the song is all about. And once you find out what it means, I hope that the message of the song will help you think about our less fortunate kababayans in the Philippines, especially those who were affected by the typhoon. Always practice your Tagalog or your parents' Filipino dialect. Stay connected with your Filipino roots and heritage. Mabuhay po at pagpalain po kayo ng Panginoon. Bye-bye.
Panalangin ko ngayong Pasko Kabayapan para sa buong mundo Sa bawat puso ay may pagmamahal Marinig sana ng langit ang aking dasal Ang bawat bata sana'y may laruan Ang bawat tao'y may pagkain na matikman Kaligayahan at pag-ibig ay maramdaman Ng bawat puso, yan ang pangarap ko ngayong Pasko Were you crying? A little bit. Earlier. Really? You're teary eyed. A little bit. Because oh that was such a beautiful It's a beautiful song. song. And yeah. the message behind it was amazing. It really touches your heart. It really does. And I love music the message like that. for those that don't speak or know how to, or that don't understand Tagalog. Mm -hmm. Again, this is from my understanding. Because <laughs> um, Tagalog is my third language, um, second language, third language. Um, the chorus speaks mm -hmm. that she wishes that every child will have a gift, will have food to eat, um, and just have the, the the basic blessings in life. Really, thank you, Bayang Bayang Barrios is um, is a Lumad woman warrior artist for Indigenous people. Yeah. So she really passionately uh, fights for Indigenous people's heritage. And check her out; she has a lot of beautiful songs. But 2020 has been something else. We made it to December. It hasn't been easy for a lot of people. Right? 2020 has actually been a great year for Epic Generation, believe it or not. And COVID has brought a lot of blessings for me. It taught me to pivot and change gears. And I'm sure a lot of people out there have learned to rediscover things. Or mm -hmm. This is when we become creative right, and resilient in terms of uh, what we can do and how we can thrive through what's going on. And thanks to this pandemic, and yes. we've bonded as a mm -hmm. family as well. We started new traditions, if you will, and gotten closer in our faith as well, which is really important. Yes, so. Yeah. Um, I, I encourage all of you to look at the positives and, and see the, the great outcomes that COVID has brought to us um, during this year. I actually want to do a shout out to Celeste Nino, yes. uh, Villa Rosa, because actually this whole Christmas special was inspired by them because these kids really wanted to do a benefits kind of concert or mm -hmm. show to raise funds for the Philippines um, in terms of the disaster that happened there. And everybody else, all the Epic Generation kids just jumped in and uh, contributed their talents today. Right. And we made it all happen. And I heard that they composed a song. So please, let's hear it for Celeste and Nino with their original composition, When It's Christmas.
Oh, <laughs> oh my god. See, I told you it's going to get stuck in your head. It's going it's going to get stuck in my head See, now. See that talks and jingle bells, right? It does. It does. See, I forgot jingle bells <laughs> How already. How does that go again? <laughs> <laughs> we have reached the, the end. end of the show and I just want to thank you all again for for joining us and all of you for reacting and showing your love and support for all of the kids for making this show what it is tonight. Yes, and I just really want to thank my Epic Generation family, the parents that are so supportive, mm -hmm. the kids. I'm so proud of you. This, this is the 12th episode that we've what? produced for the year. So we want to thank all our guests today for enriching the content. And we hope that all the viewers that we have actually enjoyed every minute of it and mm -hmm. found inspiration in the different stories and flavor that the yeah. kids have offered and our guests too. And of course, so thank you so much, Filipino TV. Uh, this is a wonderful production that we had today. And um, 2021, we've got more shows, new episodes, and new shows coming up. Exactly. So, so uh, watch out for those. A lot of exciting things happening here at Epic Generation and Filipino TV. So please keep an eye out on FTV. Please check your local listings to see how you can subscribe and watch on your local television. So, so God bless you. Please don't forget to wear a mask. Wash your hands, physical distance, please take care, and have a very merry and blessed Christmas.